The structures, land, waters, and way of life in Sacramento are all very deeply rooted in the city's history. Sacramento sits at the confluence of the Sacramento River and the American River. It's considered a city, but infused with nature and natural wonders. The architecture is both modern and incredibly vintage because of its resilient past in California's history. This really is one of the most instrumental cities that built the state of California. One location I really felt defined what Sacramento has to offer content creators was the old sugar mill. The building was originally constructed in 1934 as an operating beach sugar refinery. And today it's a spacious location packed with character and depth that hosts 15 wineries. Right down the road from the old sugar mill is the Ride Hotel. This petite hotel looks like a location from a Wes Anderson film. It was built in the 1920s at the peak of the Prohibition era. The hidden lower level was a speakeasy, offering whiskey and music to a clientele in search of a good time. This was one of the most fascinating hotels I'd ever been to. California has always prided itself on diversity in filming locations you can find the world within the state. The most perfect example of that is finding early 1900s China within the Sacramento region in the small town of Locke. You get to come into Locke and imagine that you're coming into a place that is really different than anywhere else that you've seen. It's like you've gone back into time, and if you use a little bit of imagination, you can actually feel when this was a true Chinese town. If you come to town, and you happen to have the skills and the desire to make either still images, film images, you can't get a better location. The textures, the light, the cross light, the colors, it's very much a town that is accessible. It's a town that we encourage people to come to. Moving to Southeast Sacramento County, we come to Van Vleck Ranch. It was like being thrusted into Midwest USA. This fully operational cattle ranch sits on almost 12,000 acres. and just has endless possibilities when it comes to a filming location. Within the city and on the outskirts, there are numerous parks. One which really caught my eye was Discovery Park. Just the beauty of it. It's a 302 acre park in the center of the American and Sacramento River. You also have a plethora of vintage-inspired homes, like the notable blue house, which was used in the film Lady Bird. I think that Sacramento itself is, it has a heartbeat, it has a caring, it has a community. One of the things that drew me to it was the people. I think the people are so amazing and kind. It feels almost Midwest in that way but at the same time, a full metropolitan city where there's restaurants and bars and music, festivals and concerts. Like, this city is alive. Next, we move to the old Sacramento waterfront. The look and feel is very Gold Rush era, with cobblestone streets and vintage buildings. This area embodies the founding of the Transcontinental Railroad, the Pony Express, 
and it's home to California's first thriving business district, which was fueled by gold, agriculture, and the river. You have the Firehouse Restaurant, which was an actual firehouse built in 1853, which was converted into a restaurant in 1960. Down the street, you have one of Sacramento's most prized possessions, the Delta King. This riverfront hotel, as we know it today, opened in 1989, but the original bones of the boat was constructed almost 100 years prior in 1927. It's a location that is very unique to not only the old Sacramento waterfront, but all of Sacramento. The city of Sacramento grew up in the mid-19th century as a development from Sutter's Fort. The site of the fort was established in 1839 by John Sutter and is famous for the association with the Donner Party. The main building in the center of the fort is a two-story adobo structure built between 1841 and 1843. When you walk around this location, you feel like you're back in the 1800s because you're surrounded by a massive fort wall which separates you from the modern world. Sacramento proper is a sprawling city with modern touches, it is very much rooted in the past. You have buildings like the Kimpton Sawyer Hotel, which is a modern marvel with views overlooking Doko and the Golden One Center for the Sacramento Kings play. A few blocks down, you have the State Capitol Building and the Capitol Gardens. Throughout the city, you can uncover hidden treasures that would elevate any visual project. These are locations that are a character in itself. Sacramento is an artistic city with unique bars and restaurants full of texture and life. The locals pride themselves in keeping tradition very much alive. Sacramento not only has diverse locations, but quality diverse locations that are each fueled by business owners and individuals who are excited to see their locations featured on the big and small screen. You have the Center for Sacramento History, which collects archival material, artifacts, and film. In addition, the Center's collection holds over 70 million photographs. This community has so much pride in their heritage and they're eager to share it with the rest of the world through storytelling. It's just apparent when you spend time here.